Oh, my... Alright, let's get stuck in. There is plenty of stuff. You ready? So let's not pick up any breakables, okay? Oh, check it out! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Um, where? Uh, I don't think so. Those are sheets and stuff. I saw a mm -hmm. Kind of a cool little chair, isn't it? Do you want me to test it out for you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's kind of cool. I think it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I might come back and grab that. Oh, and it folds up. It does fold up. Where would we park it now? We probably wouldn't put it anywhere. Do you want me to hold it? No, you don't have to do that. You probably want your free hands. Whoops. Yeah, these are good. These are cast iron pans. They look kind of dorky though. Yeah, well, but we could pass them. Yeah. Do that one? That's, yeah, that's like cornbread and stuff, I reckon. I like flamingos. The other side now. Yeah, tell me if you see anything. I see chickens. That's pretty. Okay. I have found the largest. I have also found these chickens. Huh. All right. It is, isn't it? Can I hold on to it? To the chicken? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that little coffee thing is. Mm. It's adorable. Is this fuel I thought I could smell something nice. Probably so. Bad taking the sponge. Oh dear. Is it okay if I make a little pile right here? Uh, sure. Well, thank did you, you. Did you see what that tin kettle does? This little one here, the play one? No. Is that what you mean? Well, the coffee pot's got coffee. It's okay. Like it has coffee. Oh my gosh, it's the so cute. The is when you pick it up yeah. and you set it down, it whistles. Oh, <laughs> no way. That's cute. Oh my goodness oh. me. Um, I'll have to check that out. <laughs> uh oh. Um, that uh, box of. Um, yes. Did he price those to you? He didn't know they were just right I here was, in the car. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to call my grandson. Who oh, else okay. Is in there? Um, there is two of these, a few wires floating around. It looks like a game or two, a couple of things. Do you want to dig through and call him? No, now I don't know if you'll want to pay that. He wanted, I know he wanted 50, but he was okay. supposed to come and pick him some out. So do you want it? Uh, let me have a look through and double check. Okay. Does he know if anything works or? Oh, yeah. yeah. But the guy, oh yeah, that's full of games. Gotcha. 
Yeah, there's a few bits and some, it looks like a few controllers and stuff. That's a good deal, Yeah, guys. I'll do 50. Okay. I'll do 50. And give me something to fiddle with and see if I can get it going. <laughs> wait, <laughs> Thank you. Wait, do you want to see the kitten's family? Uh, maybe so. Okay. That's cute. You want it? Yeah. You can cute. have it. Okay. It looks like you can hang it up. Pretty little bread. Just like our mob vegetables. Yes. Yeah, just watch. Make sure you don't touch the I think we're gonna be almost ready to pay, kiddo. Mm -hmm. I think we see an I think so. We'll get on back. Oh, right. I see that. That's kind of cool. All right, bring your stuff up too so she can count it up. <laughs> it's going to be a warm one. It took me. I started last Thursday and he hit oh, me. Oh, really? Oh, goodness. It is a job, isn't yeah. it? You're right. Okay, so this is our little paw right All here. Right. Let's see. What was that for? Uh, sure, that works for me. Yeah. I didn't see a price on it, but whatever you think. It was supposed to be four. All right, that'll work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What was on that dollar? Uh, I'm not sure. Twelve. So sixty-two. All right, sixty-two. There You're you go. Have some fun. <laughs> Betty, you got a deal. Those, <laughs> those games are more than that. There you go. There are a lot of games in there. Well, for... thank you very much. Is that yeah, right? You want a bag, sweetie? Uh, if you have one, that would yeah. be awesome. Thank one. you. I'm going to hold my That works. This is cool. Yeah, there was stuff on the other kitchens, but nothing on this one. Nothing on that one? Yeah. I'm so excited to hang this up in my room. Are you? Yeah. Well, did we you? just put like a screw in the wall and then we put this thing over it? <laughs> you know what that is? No, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I came across that in the basement. You stick it in the back like of onto your the window. Car. Yeah. In the window. And this will go up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he was 19 and yeah. he used that with his. You know, I I didn't find some more things I'm gonna add in. I got a few linens, a poncho, oh, and I'm gonna go ahead that. and take that guy. If nothing else, it my husband's gonna cackle a dollar because it needs cleaning. All right, so how much these, for everything? Oh, now wait a minute. I haven't got these out and priced them yet. Oh, gotcha. These, okay. Now listen, these are 1930s. Oh, right. Cloths, okay. The old retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you you probably don't want these i will post them if they don't sell okay they're ten dollars a piece ten dollars a piece okay yeah. all right yeah those were my mom's yeah and they're, grandmothers they're beautiful they are they don't make them like that anymore those patterns yeah lord i can't lose your mind <laughs> Let's see. Two, he'll get three, a kick four. Is it? I'm going to take just the one of them for 10. Okay. I'm going to put him right there. Don't forget about it. Is that your son? This one? Yes. You'll be shooting your name. Pardon? You'll be shooting your name. <laughs> Oh, they'll get a kick. I got three little boys, so it's like the oh, best thing you can imagine. Yeah. You need, I, I didn't have time to clean it up. Okay, that'd be oh, that'd 12 be more dollars. 12 more dollars. All righty. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Are you okay, okay holding really them? Fine. You're good? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah.
All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So this was a bit of a random one. This was a Thursday yard sale just down the road from me. And so my kiddo and I jetted out just to check it out for pure curiosity. At this point, I do not need to be buying more things. I have plenty to get me through winter, but uh, who can resist a yard sale? So I spent a total of, I think it was $62 or so, maybe $65 in total, roundabout. A couple of those items were for my kiddo's room that he picked out. Um, but this is everything I got to essentially resell. I may have overspent on a few things here i don't know it's not necessarily my wheelhouse like all of this kind of stuff down here um but there's enough items here that i know i can make my money back that i felt confident enough to go ahead and uh, take a chance on a few other things so let me show you what i picked up so big item at the back this is a vintage aluminum aluminium however you want to say that rainbow sort of like canvas woven um low set lawn chair these sell for around 25 to 30 plus shipping this was actually in really really nice condition oftentimes you find them and they're like frayed and stuff this one is in great shape just needs a good wipe down i also grabbed this postal scale which was a bit of a bust unfortunately it is a vintage one and it's a decent brand palouse or whatever you want to call it i've sold these in the past uh, like i said this is postal and not kitchen kitchen scales do tend to do better paid three dollars for this one and it looks like it's only going for around 15 to 20 or so i got one pair of shoes I found uh, sort of in amongst all the faded glory and the usual things that you find, you know, good fellow, all that kind of stuff. I found a pair of AGLs kind of lurking in there. They're this really nice sort of pewter gold metallic loafer, like a penny loafer. They should be good for around sort of $30 or so. I also got a, I guess it's vintage, a huge like adult poncho. Y'all know at this point, I pick up these new packet ponchos for a buck or so whenever I find them because I keep them in the car in case of like breaking down in bad weather. I don't know. It's just like a thing that I do repetitively, apparently. Uh, but I did go ahead and grab that one for a buck. All right, next item, I've actually never seen one of these before. I paid only a dollar for it and it's marked, I think, 1989. Um, and it is a little sort of like vintage, well, pretend kiddo coffee maker. And it actually looks like it has coffee in it, like inside of it. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. These kind of things, like you can see here, the stickers kind of worn away here. But when I was looking it up, it looks like these might be a little bit harder to find. I still have to do some more research. Um, I saw one listed for 40. Um, I don't know that I will get anywhere close to this, but oftentimes I sell vintage Fisher Price toys on Etsy quite well. Um, and you can often as well part them out. If for nothing else for a dollar, I'm sure just this piece alone would most likely sell at a decent amount. You may have seen uh, this guy in the video um so to give you a demonstration he obviously needs a really really good clean he's selling for around 15 to 20 and i paid a dollar he sticks on the back of your windscreen i really do have to scrub him he is called mr seymour buds <laughs> oh god i'm a child i know um and essentially this goes up to the front of the car she gave me a demonstration and he moons the people behind you so you know if you're that way inclined as a driver he could certainly uh give you a little bit of entertainment while you're cruising around town um okay i also grabbed well here let me do this box first so i can actually get to these linens so this box here i found in a corner tucked away and it was full of old gaming stuff just I, I barely picked through it i just noticed a couple of playstations a couple of controllers a bag or two of games that kind of thing so i just decided to ask how much it was and as soon as she saw me with it she was like uh oh and i was like oh no you're gonna tell me it's not for sale um essentially she mentioned that her grandson was selling this and he'd wanted to pick through it I think I'm not too sure um but he was asking 50 so I thought about it and I did actually flick through this uh little thing here of all PlayStation 1 games and I found one really really quickly uh, that I have sold before and so I know it's worth a decent amount this one here Resident Evil 3 Nemesis usually you can get around $30 or so for that game um so I decided based on that that I could pay 50 for the box because I knew I could get the majority of my money back there not to mention all of the other items that I picked up as well so we have um this thing here like i said full of playstation one games that one i showed you is really the only decent one in there the rest of them are sort of like five dollar games so what i'll do is uh lot all of those up together and try and sell them as a playstation lot i got one xbox controller that i am not sure if it's worth anything <laughs> i got two uh playstation one console units i know you can sell these for parts maybe around 20 25 plus shipping and um, they do need to wipe down and i do have the cords that came with them so that i can actually test them and see if they turn on and stuff so grab those this was also lurking in there just an og uh, playstation controller this one is another one but what the heck is, do the controllers ever look like this like the little and there's the wires exposed i think this is trash personally uh so i think this one may be uh, going the way of the wind 
had a pair of Sony uh, speakers. I'm, sh I'm not sure that they're worth anything at all. A couple of games rattling around. So we have a Power Rangers Game Boy Advance. This is usually $8 free shipping, not much at all. We have a mystery Game Boy Advance game. Got absolutely no idea what this one is. And uh, I don't have a Game Boy Advance to test it. So not sure what to do with that. We have Super Nintendo WWF Raw. Again, these obviously need a careful clean. And we have a Super Mario Bros. 3 NES original game from the 90s. Just the cartridge, nothing else. I have these, which I've got absolutely no idea what these go to. Um, they are all marked. So it says insert to this line and they're marked on the back. Mattel Inc. 1979 USA. Anybody know what console these were for? Oh, there we go. Um, I guess they're all... I was thinking maybe Atari? 1979 i don't know i'm gonna have to look into it but i got a stack of those some mystery some with the label still on them we have one sheet here it's just a fitted sheet but it's still really really nice and vibrant and uh, sort of clean looking um which is perfect for the graphics it's just a vintage superman sheet and it's marked 1978 and i totally paid up for this she had a bunch of vintage linens there and she actually wanted $10 a piece. She was telling me that if she couldn't sell them at the sale, she was going to just list them and sell them locally. This is the only one I grabbed, but I just absolutely love the aesthetic. I love the fact that the people look like they're from like the 40s or the 50s or whatever. And it's all um, California. See? California with the smiling sun. She was telling me that they were from the 1930s. I respectfully disagree only because I don't think Disneyland was there in the 1930s. I think that was more like 50s, correct me if I'm wrong. But I just I just thought it was amazing. Now, there are a few little marks as so often there are with linen. So I will do my best to maybe spot clean them. But anything I can't get out, I'll just disclose. And this is going to have to wait for the right buyer. I know they always do. Um, but I think this is probably going to sell on either eBay or Etsy. And I think I can get at least $50 for this. And this could be a great, like, huge wall decor piece if you were so inclined. All right, you guys, that is everything I picked up from today's yard sale. So let me know down in the comments. I'm super curious to uh, hear if you would have paid the $50 for that mystery box of uh, vintage retro gaming stuff. Um, I just couldn't resist it. I love a good mystery box. And I think I did fine. I think I will definitely make all of my money back and a little bit on top as well. But I'd love to know what you guys think down below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up before you head out. And if you want to come along with me to more yard sales to find cool things to flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye